Hey guys. We're going to Vegas. Yay! Yay. That's probably how I actually should have started. <laughs> Just, we're going to Vegas. Vegas! So, we're on our way to Vegas, guys. It's going to be great. <clears throat> we're excited. Um, that I don't know and that my family doesn't know so yeah. it's gonna be fun Woo. yep we're super excited just hoping the baby cooperates for this drive because it's a waste yeah that'll be fun Woo, Vegas. <laughs> and cue travel montage Where's daddy? Say hi. Baby boy. <gasps> hi buddy. Hi. Mm -hmm. He's so happy to be getting a break from the car. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> hi bud. I swear he like knows he's supposed to smile for the camera. I think he does. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny. You're funny. Yeah. And just adorable. And probably getting sunburned. Oh, well, we've only been here like two minutes. I know, but if he burns as fast as I do. <laughs> okay, here we go. No, just his arm will burn. Mmm. Mmm.
Hey guys, we made it to Vegas. Look, there's my wife. And now we're at a buffet, and we got good food, and we got mac and cheese, which is the most important thing to get when you're at a buffet. My cousin's laughing at me. There's my cousin and my uncle. They're here with us too. So are my parents and my other cousin, but I don't know where they wandered off to, but that's okay. So there you go, we made it. So this was a perfectly done little spiral, but unfortunately I took a bite before I vlogged it. But as you can tell, it was perfect once. It was beautiful. It looked like a little Digimon poop. So we're at the tail end of dinner now and we're all kind of feeling full. There's everybody. There's Mare and Poppy and Mike and Corinne. If I smile with my teeth, you'll see I didn't even do Yep. Pretty fun. We're having a good time. And we're all ready for naps. I think. Definitely a wide variety of them. Hey guys, we met the cousins today. Like the ex the distant cousins. We just we just got back to our little room. Sarah fed and knocked out our child. We have this really nice room. <gasps> it's great. And it, and we trashed it and the baby could have his own bedroom in here. <laughs> and it has these really low light switches. Don't worry, we're not actually putting the baby in the bathroom. <laughs> no, he's sleeping here. But yeah, here's our nice little room. And it's fun. We're really enjoying ourselves. And we got a nice little gift basket with stuff. And they gave us like a whole pizza which is hard to fit in a little fridge, but we managed it along with our watermelon. I have watermelon socks. Oh, and they made, so they gave us, we got t-shirts and they made, they made a little onesie for our baby. It's so cute. And it says, I shook my family tree and a bunch of, Alvarez nuts fell out. My mom thought that that was hilarious and that it's because they knew we were coming. That's what she said. It was fun. Poppy gave a little spiel about uh, like finding out how we're related to this part of the family and finding them and, and where our family comes from. They had a little slideshow. It was really cool and everyone was super attentive and enjoying it. That's true. He did have pictures, which does help. It was really cool, though. Really fun. Ugh. Yeah. But yeah, so we're excited. This is a funny apartment. So there's a few things about this apartment that are a little strange. It should be a hotel room, not the apartment. Oh, right. <laughs> hotel room. It's not an apartment. So, strange things about this ho this room. <laughs> our, little, our little place is one is that there's only one chair for the the counter yeah the little bar which is kind of funny also you can't really they situate the tv so thankfully they have this little swervy thing although poppy's room doesn't have this yeah it doesn't pull out it's like stuck there and their channel changer doesn't work and you can't reach the top of the tv so you actually have to pull the tv out and push the top to get it to turn on but so yeah, we got the their their air conditioner was also not working when we first got here. But um so the uh the 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 thing though is so the TV is there. The couch is over there. The bed is over there, which means that to watch the TV you have to be sitting at the desk. That seems like a bit of a design flaw, but whatever. Um it's true, we do have the swivelly thing, which is nice. It's better than Poppy's got. Ma I'm and Poppy. Or Mare. 
Can we tell them why she's called Mary? Oh, yeah. So, so for instead of Grandma and Grandpa for my parents, it's Mare and Poppy, which is... We had decided on Poppy a long time ago because I started calling my dad that back in high school, I think. And then when I was on my mission, they decided that that was what they were going to go with, I think. Maybe I wasn't on my mission. I might have been after. Anyway, so... um. Basically, when my sister's first kid was born, they decided on Poppy, but they didn't know what to call Mom, uh, because, so, my dad's parents, we call them Nana and Papa, and we needed something that went with Poppy, and we couldn't come up with anything, and then, so it was like Grammy was kind of what we were thinking about going with, and then my nephew just randomly started calling her Mare, like, when he was like three like two or three or something he started calling her mare and we were all like that's kind of weird does, but we does he randomly speak french and we don't know it <laughs> yeah apparently mare means what mom in french mother yeah. mother so so now she's mare and it's kind of stuck so she'll forever be called mare and the only person who will ever find it awkward is sarah because she's the only one in our family who speaks French on my side of the family her side it's like everybody no, look at the cute just, butt it's just my mom because she went on her mission to France oh. doesn't your dad no he speaks Dutch oh okay so they actually were both they were both called to um, Belgium on their missions my dad was called to the northern half where they speak Dutch and my mom was called to the southern half where they speak French although she actually that particular mission covered southern Belgium and northern France at the time, and she spent most of her time in France. I think it was just her last city that was in Belgium. But, so yeah. It's just my mom who speaks French. Oh, okay, oh, cool. okay, Emily did take some French in high school. In school. Junior high. She's in high school right now. I'm tired. <laughs> Good night. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a fun day. And watermelon socks. Nom, nom, nom. Watermelons are delicious. Yeah. Fun hey, stuff. <laughs> now we're kind of tired and we managed to knock the baby out, so we'll probably go to bed pretty soon. Bye.